Where's Dad? Uh... He's upstairs just getting... Oh, that. Excuse me, Dad. Martin. Do you like ketchup? What are you? I tried in some bloody dog shit. Oh, lovely. Oh, I'm the father, Martin Goodman. Well, say hello. Oh, yes, sir. Good evening. Martin Goodman. Martin, she's an eight-year-old girl, not a 55-year-old businessman. Here. What? Well, you're allowed to smash the window. Dad. You're asking me to commit a crime now, are you? Oh, don't be such a baby. OK, Johnny, you do it. Um, I think the answer is nine, which in English means no pissing way. Oh, bloody hell, I'll have to do it then, won't I? Don't be ridiculous. You're not going to smash Auntie Val's window. Oh, my God! Marty? Huh? What are you doing? Why are you in that car? What? This is my car. I'm in my car. But... Oh, God! Why is she... Good luck, Dad. Yeah, it's all the very best. But... Martin! What are you doing smashing that car's window? I, I was, um... Uh, uh, trying to kill a wasp. With a brick? Hello? Oh, hello, Bambinos. Martin, isn't life wonderful? Well, not really. No. Did you read about that man who beheaded all those horses? Oh, terrible. Say something, Martin. Hmm? What are you doing down there? One million two hundred and ninety thousand one hundred and eight. How many days it would take to walk to the sun? It's a good look. Thank you. What's going on? What? Your mother and I were having a bit of time to ourselves. OK. We were just making love. Oh! God! Right, we are going to go and sit in the car for 20 minutes, then come back in again and pretend this never happened. Good idea. Yes, good idea. Actually, better make it half an hour. A tattoo? You've got a tattoo? Martin, Johnny's got a tattoo. What? You mustn't get tattoos. Christ! Will everyone please stop hitting my tattoo? Martin, Jonathan wants to die young. Does he? Yes, he wants to die young. Tell him. Was... You're not to die <laughs> young. <laughs> God, I hate you all! What is it, an ape? What? Why would I get a tattoo of an ape? To remind you of where you came from originally. Not a bad answer, actually. Not tonight, isn't it? Guys, scorching. Uh, why is the fish full of tomatoes? Jesus. Good question. Martin, why is the fridge full of tomatoes? Because the shop made a mistake. No, we've been through this. You made a mistake. You made a mistake. I made a mistake. He did his first online shop. Welcome to the current century. God, it was complicated. No, all you had to do was not add two noughts after every order. Excellent. I'll tell you, that internet, I'll give it three years. Martin. What? You know you said you wouldn't get in your car again. Hmm? Here's your tomato blood. And I, oh, 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 you bleeding idiot! You, oh, shit on it! Shit on it! Shit on it! Shit on it! This is a shitting nightmare. Oh, shitting shit! Bad luck, pass face. Ah, my nose! My nose! Oh, shitting, 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 shitting tits! Shit on it! Why is Dad dressed like Oscar Wilde? <laughs> You've noticed, have you? I want to make an impression. A terrible impression? <laughs> impression for who? Dad's friend's coming. Dad's, Dad's friend? friend? What do you mean, Dad's friend? Dad doesn't have friends. That's a horrible thing to say. Yes, I do. Well, not being nasty, but Mum has friends. You don't have friends. Yeah, Dad. Rubbish. I have friends. All right, name one. What about dead Neil? How about living friends? You know, ones that haven't had funerals. OK, the one that's coming tonight, then. And his name is? Bet he doesn't remember. What was the name of my friend again? Let's see. Tony. Tony, that's it. My friend's called Tony. You sound very close. Inseparable. We were in digs together. And in English? They shared a flat at university. University. That's flour you're eating. I know. But Paris, Martin. Do you remember when we went to Paris? Um, was that when I was sick after eating that cheese? Dad, you remember. Oh. Went all down the back of the radiator. Maybe you should just tell Mum what happened. You know, tell the truth. The truth? When have I ever told your mother the truth, you stupid arsehole? You thought my son was in love with you, but he's actually in love with you. Uh. Aren't you? Martin Goodman. I'm a dead man. What have you done? A dead man.
Oh, my God. You've got oil on Mum's carpet. I've got oil on Mum's carpet. <laughs> oil on Mum's carpet. I do hope we still get on. We shall still get on. Well, I'm suddenly all nervous. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be so soppy. Thanks, love. <laughs> oh, my God! It's Tony! It's Tony at the door! Tony's here! It's OK, Martin. Calm down. Yeah, calm down. Calm down. Calm down. He did it. <laughs> Sweet joy. Sweet bloody joy! <laughs> Dad! <gasps> now, to make the room all romantic, uh, uh, potpourri. Uh, um, done. Dad? Oh, come on. Dad? What? Yeah. What's he doing here? Mr Murray? Why is he not answering? You don't think he's... dead? God. God. I can't believe it. He said he had a bad cold, but... It must have been a really bad cold. Well, that's just my luck. What? I book a man to clean the carpet, he ends up bloody dying on it. Dad! Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Uh... Oh, my God. What am I going to tell your mother, huh? What am I going to tell your bleeding mother? Martin! Shit. Shit! What are you doing? That was in absolute pieces down there. Well? Let's go to Paris. Oi! What the hell are you doing getting married without telling your mother? Um, she's not my mother. Sorry, I don't know why I was looking at you then. What the hell are you doing getting married without telling your mother? Cheers, everyone. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. It's £4.65. Sorry? Nothing. Remember, we can never choose who our children marry. Aha! There's the sod. Rotting liver. Martin, why don't you go and help Johnny? Really? But I'm having me grub. All right. Uh, yeah. uh, I think your mother wants me to have a private chat with you about the situation between yourself and your American wife. Go on, then. Get it over with. Well? Well, what? You're getting married. Uh, yes, I got married. Oh, yes, you got married, of course, yeah, you're married. Yes. And? And? Have you consummated the marriage? Dad. Well, that's what you ask, isn't it? If you're from the 1820s, yes. All right, then. Do you love the girl? <laughs> OK. Did Mum tell you to say all this? Of course not. Good. Any more questions, or can I go now? What do the parents do? What is that piece of paper? What piece of paper? Wait, uh, Johnny. That's Mum's handwriting. <sighs> Give it back. She's literally written out instructions for you. She'll bloody kill me. Well, I try and make him feel sad for us. Oh, and I forgot my mother called. She left her glasses here. Could you drop them round? Right! <laughs> That's it! If that bloody woman wants her glasses, she can get off her stupid fat ass and get them herself. Martin, that's my mother you're talking about. Well, why don't you go round, then? You know why I can't go round. I'm looking after my baby, Bobo. Thanks, Mum. Oh. So not ill? Jackie, I'm telling you, I am not getting in my car for one more second this evening, do you hear me? One more second! I think he might have meant that. Martin! And where are you going with all those pipes? I'll tell you where I'm going, to shove them up my bottom. What? No, Dad. Give me it. Get off! Give me some. Mum! Mummy! Martin! <laughs> I've told you not to do that. Oh, you mean he's done that before? Taking food out of your starving son's mouth. Oh, are you all right, Bobo? I think so, Mummy. Oh. Not playing. Oh, oh Adam! Oh! Why are you such a bloody idiot? Yeah, it's OK. I'll talk to him. Really? Isn't he wonderful? Hello. Oh, God. <clears throat> what do you want? Nothing. Just thought I'd come and say hi. OK, well, hi. 
All right? Oh, please go away. You know, all right? Oh, shit. Do piss off. This is the police. Can you open the door, please? Yes, Dad, very good. Mr Goodman, this is PC Sally Gapley. Can you open the door, please? Huh? It is the police. Yes, it is the police. You called the police on me? What? I can't believe it. You asked me to play the violin, then when I actually start playing, you talk all the way through, and then you call the bloody police. We did not talk all the bloody way through. You just bloody stormed off. Yeah. One minute that stupid piece lasts. One minute. He was bloody rude to my son. Can you keep your voices down a little? He was in a state of psychosis, officer. What? Right, and are you a doctor? That's right. Oh, my God. He's not a sodding doctor. He sells shoes on eBay. Ignore him, Spencer. He cheated at his exam. He was never proved! I'll be in the car. Uh... Right, well, I think this is pretty simple to sort out. You lot stand there and be quiet. Then you, you've got one minute. Play your violin. What? Yes. Oh, go on. Seriously? <clears throat> well? All right, fine, fine. Hello, all. Oh, Christ. Have the brutes struck again? OK. Jackie, wait. It's better. <laughs> My horrible family. <laughs> Where is your dad? Martin! He's not still looking for his tin of bloody meat. Obviously, he's still looking for his tin of bloody meat. Uh, there you are. Well, Martin, did you find it? OK, Valerie, did you hide it in the attic? The attic? Dad, have you gone insane? Yes. Where is my bloody meat? Uh, it's probably not up the chimney, Dad. Rotten meat. It's fine. It's perfectly good meat. Perfectly good meat. Uh, you're not actually going to eat that, are you? No, let him, boys. Let your father poison himself. Come on, Martin, you've proved your point. Not yet, I haven't. Oh! oh Martin! It's fine. It's absolutely fine. No, enough now, please. Oh. <laughs> actually, it's very nice. It's delicious. OK, Martin, you're going to be just fine. Oh, God. Can I say something? Yeah? Actually, can Lord Luck say something? Um, all right. She's not coming back. Sorry? She's not coming back, mate. If she's run away, there's a reason. And that reason is, it's just not meant to be. But the thing is, life's a bugger! I'm sorry. Ben. Bravo.